The text overlays in Ecamm are pretty advanced actually. Now while some will go off and use Keynote or PowerPoint or something else to do their uh, text overlays, I reckon actually Ecamm is pretty advanced and you might not realize all that you can do in here. So let's have a look. Down in our overlays area, and uh, if you haven't got it open, remember you can click up here and it will appear. And you've got a little T symbol and that will bring in your text overlay. So let's just think for instance that I want to bring my name in here. Now I'm just going to restore this back to its default. This is what Ecamm will give you to start with. And if I just hit add, then that's what it is. That's how it appears. All right, I'm going to move it off to the side of here and I'm going to hit the pencil symbol to be able to edit it. Now you'll see every font that you've got loaded on your computer. So if you want a new font, then uh, go ahead, download it, add it to your font library on your Mac and it will appear here. So I can go through and change any of these fonts that I want. In fact, that looked quite fun there. I can then take the background off if I want. We'll come back to backgrounds in a minute. And maybe I don't even want the little shadow effect that's on. Although it is quite good having that shadow if you're sitting over a, a strong background. Maybe I like that just as a little signature down in the bottom. And uh, all of a sudden that could now be sitting down at the bottom corner here of all of my lives. And it's like a bit of personal branding. That looks a bit different, doesn't it already? Now we use Metropolis as our brand. And uh, so I could go for this one and um, again, I can color this up so I can just click here and it brings up this little palette and I can change the color of this font around if I want to. And now here we go. My name is just going to appear down the bottom again. So many different things we can do with this. Uh, I can choose for this to be center aligned. And now when I snap this, if I want to the middle, I know that that is going to uh, be snapped in exactly in the center of the screen there. I can adjust the sizing of it, uh, adjusting my font size over here. If I want to use a background, I can. And now where at the top, instead of hitting this color icon, I'm going to hit up here. And again, it's the same color palette tool, but um, maybe I'm going to change this around. So orange wants to be my background. Now let me just select the text and click over here. And I'm going to change the color of the text to white. Now you also have the feature to uh, round off these edges if you want to. That can look really nice. You can increase the margin around it. Actually, as that font gets smaller, you notice that that rounded corner, it's done on a pixel number, I believe. So uh, the bigger the font is, the less of an impact it is, but the smaller it is, it's almost like a pill shape when you get down small there. Yeah, you can really start padding this out. And um, what you'll notice is when we put it in here, I can actually drag this. So I can take that right to the left there and I can drag it to the right uh, and it is now aligned. So my text has stayed aligned left, center or right, but uh, I've kind of filled the bottom border of that now. If I take that uh, corner radius back, take my margin back, that can look quite nice as an overlay there. And it could look like a frame that I'd created in another bit of software. Now, something else that I haven't showed you is that we can actually, at the minute we've selected fixed position, we can fly in auto or from left or right. So if I want to bring this in from the left, notice that now when I open up this scene, my name appears from the left. And when I close it, it'll slide off to the left again. Not so much of an impact because I filled the whole screen with it. But if I were to left align that and uh, shrink that a bit, maybe we want it to sit in here. Uh, that can look nicer now when that appears and disappears from the side of the screen. So that can look really powerful actually when you bring this in. Now, if you want to see a more advanced version of this, what you can actually do is to create a folder and uh, let's call it name. And I'm going to just lift over there. So by pulling it up and to the right slightly, that's now included in this folder. And what I can actually do is to duplicate this. So over here, it doesn't work in the overlays window, but if I hit option and drag that, 
it will duplicate it. I'm gonna edit this one. And what I'm gonna do is have black text on top of a black background so that in effect, we've just got a black box here. And if I were to put that one behind the first one, so I've pointed this out in other videos that whatever is highest in that list is going to appear closer on the screen. What that means is that now we've created this effect. Uh, maybe the black isn't the best color. Let's change that to white and you'll see stronger what we're doing here. Background to white as well. Let's take that uh, shadow effect off. So we're just creating a white box, really. You can see there that we've now just created this effect. It looks more like something that's come out of PowerPoint now. We've got a little drop shadow almost under our box. And so what I can do is if I open and close the folder, then they come in as one. I think that's a really nice feature that I saw somebody else using and just wanted to point it out here as well, just to show you what you can do with the text. Now, some of you might have some great ideas how you can use this. Uh, why don't you let us know in the comments? Why don't you share what you've been up to? Uh, just wanna point out really how you can do this, how you can have these things scrolling in and out. Uh, the final one actually that I nearly forgot to tell you is that we can actually make this a scrolling ticker. So maybe let's bring another one in. And uh, we will have a background that needs to stand out a little bit more than that. We're calling it our scrolling ticker text. And there it is. And when I hit add, there we go. That's just going to come across the screen now. So this is a great way if you've got an announcement, maybe you want to announce a, a code or something on your live. Uh, you can have this thing scrolling around at the top here. Maybe as you're introducing your show and you want to say, you know, let me know you are here when you arrive. Uh, why don't you say hi in the comments, something like that. But scrolling ticker is another really cool feature. You can speed it up, slow it down, and you can adjust the margin or the size of the font, and that will have an impact on the border that it brings in. I think this is great. I can now bring in this text. I could do my bullet points and things. Maybe there's, you know, five points that I've got in a presentation. Uh, I can just type this in clone it, type in the second point, clone it, third one, uh, and I have a scene for each of them. Rather than needing to go off to Keynote or PowerPoint to make some fancy overlays, I can do it right here inside of Ecamm. Let's see what you can come up with with that one.